Hello friends, welcome to our channel. So in the previous session, we have learned uh, the one dimensional array. So how to declare a one dimensional array and how to access the elements of one dimensional array and how to read the elements into the one dimensional array and how to display the elements of an array. And in this session, let us have a look on various operations that can be done on array elements. So here, we can perform different operations on the L arrays in that the major uh, operations are insertion, deletion, sorting, searching. So these are the major operations that can be done on array elements. That means we can insert the element into an array at a particular position and similarly we can delete the element from the array from the given position and we can sort the elements of array that means either in ascending order or a descending order. So we can arrange the elements in an array and then searching that means uh, we have to find the existence of an element in the given array so let us have a look on these operations one by one first one insertion of an element into an array so first we have to take one dimensional array we have to declare a one dimensional array and we have to take the size of an array and we have to read the all the elements into an array and then we need to add one element into an array at a particular position so insertion of element at a specified position Insertion of an element at specific at a specified position in an array. So first let us have a look on example so that we can write the code. So here what the user have to give the input. So what are the inputs that the user must give? That means first elements of an array and then the user have to specify the position where he wants to insert an element and the element which is to be inserted the element which is to be inserted so first one is elements of an array then the position where the new element to be inserted and the third one is which element is to be inserted see let us take an example let it be the elements of an array are 10 20 30 40 50 so these are all the values and 0 1 2 3 4 these are indexes index of elements next element representations are a of 0 a of 1 a of 2 a of 3 a of let it be an array here an array is 4 oh, sorry. a of 5 because these are 5 elements so 0 1 2 3 and 4 5 elements so here the index starts from 0 
So we are getting the index values from 0 to 4 and the values are 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50 and the element representation is a of 0, a of 1, a of 2, a of 3 and a of 4. Here the va n value, let it be n is a size of array is equal to 5 because there are 5 elements so n is equal to 5. Here our question is, our problem is we have to insert a new element at a specific position that means we have to add one element to the array that means n will become n plus 1 after insertion n will become n plus 1 after insertion because now there are 5 elements 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and if you add one more element then the index value will be total 6 that means 0 to 5 there will be another element that is fifth index value and here the position if you want to insert the element in third position and the element is 35 see the user wants to insert the element 35 in the position 3 so what we have to do we have to we should not disturb all these three because 0 1 2 we should not disturb from these elements just we have to move these elements to the rightmost element that means third element must be moved to the fourth element fourth element must be moved to the fifth element so 40 will be moved in the fourth position 50 will be moved into the fifth position and this will be f5 hope you understood so here we have to insert the element new element in the position 3 so 3 is a position and from that position we have to shift all the elements towards the immediate right position that that means simply we can write in generalized thing let index maybe i so here a of index plus 1 is equal to a of index so in general format we can write these things so if index is 3 a of 4 is equal to a of 3 that means we are assigning the value of a of 3 to the position a of 4 so a of 3 value 40 will be assigned to 4 and then again 4 will be assigned to 5 so here we need to shift all the elements towards the right from the position itself so for that we can we can start uh, moving from rightmost corner right first shift the last element to the new last element that means n element to n plus 1 n minus element to n that means first we can write so n element to n plus 1 n minus 1 element to n n minus 2 element to n minus 1 so on up to position so up to position we have to insert now then insert this 35 at the position so a of position is equal to write the element value so let us write a program so that you can clearly understood so hope you understood this one so if you want to insert an element at a particular position from the last element we have to shift to the towards the right positions so n element nth element that means in the present array the last element must be moved to the next position that means n plus 1 element 
So n minus 1 element must be moved to the n. n minus 2 element must be moved to the n minus 1 element. That must be done until it reaches the position which given by the user. And we should not disturb all the elements before the position. Hope you understood. So we can write a program so that you can clearly understand. So hash include, so include the header file, main function and declare an array, int array of 5, that means maximum this array can be stored, storing maximum of 5 elements. So then read the array elements, so for reading Yesterday we have seen, uh, so in the previous session we have seen the logic for reading an elements into an array that is scanf. So we have to use an iterative statement for reading all the elements into an array. So i is equal to 0, so index always starts from 0. So we need to insert the elements from 0th index itself. And less than 5 because from 0 we are counting. If the index is 4, totally 5 elements will be there. So less than 5 i plus plus scanf percentage d ampersand array of i so here we have uh, completed reading all the elements into an array now we have to uh, get the position where the value should be inserted so write the scanf here for reading the position percentage d ampersand position so we need two elements that is uh, position and element so where the element should be the, the, where the value to be inserted and the va which value to be inserted where to be inserted which value is to be inserted so position so both we have to take the input so again write the scanner and take the input and element so we have to insert this element into the position. So after taking the inputs of position and element, so now we need to shift the nth element to n plus 1 and n minus element to n and so so that uh, until it reaches to the position. So we should not disturb any element uh, before the position indexes. So here we can write an iterative statement that i is equal to Four. So, because last element is fourth element, last element is the first ele fourth element. So, i is equal to four. We have to repeat the process until it reaches to position. I less than or equal to position, and then we need to decrement. We need to decrement that. So, we have to repeat that. We have to shift or we have to assign the nth value to the n plus 1 position. So, array of i plus 1 is equal to array of i. Close the brace. So, this will repeat until the i index value reaches to the position. So, immediately after reaching the position, the control will come out from the loop. Now, we have to insert or we have to assign the element at the position position is equal to element and now display the elements of an array on the display screen for that also we have to use an iterative statement so write down here for i is equal to 0 i less than or equal to 5 because previously the number of elements are 5 the index values are from 0 to 4 after inserting an element the index values will be 0 to 5 total 6 elements so i less than or equal to 5 i plus plus printf percentage d array of i this ends the program 
So here we can take the size as n. If you take the size as n, we can replace it with n elements. Here we can write n minus 1. And then the remaining is same. Here we have to write n plus 1. Because so it's also same. Less than or equal to n will be the same thing. So like this we can insert an element into an array at a particular position. So this is one operation that can be done on one dimensional arrays. Hope you understood this. And uh,